hello everyone welcome back so today in this video we are going to see how we can extract the column name from this existing table and we can create a new table which should contain the name of these columns of this existing table that is table a okay so before moving into the question let me show you this is one data set that i've already imported into this power bi desktop environment and if you click over here here you can see this is the status table and inside the status table it contains four different columns that is name column, last modification date, status and the due date column. Okay. So now our requirement is how to get a list of all columns name from the power query table. It means as you can see here this, this is the status table and this status table contains these four different columns. Right. Those are name, last modification date, status and the due date. So now our requirement is we have to extract or we have to create a new table which should contain all the columns name of this particular table okay so let's see how we can do this so for that first of all you have to go to the home tab then click on transform data and go to the power query editor okay and here you can see this is a status table and it contain only four columns right so now our requirement is we have to create another table which should contain all the name of these particular four columns right so how can you do that for that just right click on this particular existing table then click on reference and create a new reference table from this status table okay then go to the advanced editor of this status to table all right so just click on this status to table first then click on advanced editor then here in place of this source what you have to do just delete this one first then here we will use another m query that is table dot columns name here you can see in the third line that is table dot columns names right then inside the bracket you have to pass the table name whose column name you want to extract so i want to extract the all the columns name from this status table right so here inside this bracket i will write the table name that is status it means from where I want to extract the column name, right? Then click enter. Okay. Then click on done. So now here you can see we have successfully created a list which should contain all the columns name from this status table, right? Inside the status table here you can see we have four columns name, last modification date, status and due date. So if I'll go to this status to table, here you can see it has contained only four rows that is name, last modification date, then status and due date. These are the four columns name which is present inside this status table, right? Then the next step is just click over here, all right? So it is a list. Now our requirement is we have to convert this list into the table, right? And then after that, you have to click on this to table it means it is basically used to convert a list into a table right so currently this is a list right so i want to convert this list into a table correct so just click over here then click on to table and convert this list into a table then click on ok and here you can see we have successfully convert that list into a table right and here you can double click on it and rename it as the column names then click enter then click on close and apply so in this way we can easily extract or we can get a list of all columns name from the existing table right so thanks for watching take care bye bye